welcome to my channel uh, today our uh, topic is uh, the properties of dft okay uh, that is uh, we studied uh, for various transforms uh, we studied the different properties in signal sense system uh, that is for example for fourier transform and laplace transform discrete time fourier transform and z transform we discussed uh, so many properties so similarly here for the dft we are going to uh, uh, discuss about the properties okay so the first property it is a periodicity property okay so this periodicity property is not at all available in uh, that uh, uh, thing fourier transform uh, this periodicity property is available for the discrete fourier transform okay so what is that periodicity property means so the name implies periodicity okay that is periodic means after a regular interval of time again and again the same values are repeating it is called as periodic okay so here what is the periodicity property means if a sequence x of n okay the given sequence x of n is periodic uh, with uh, the periodicity of n sample means then the n point dft answer is also periodic okay with the same n sample it is called as a periodicity property okay so that is for what is the meaning means uh, if the sequence x of n is periodic for example you take uh, uh, the x of n is equal to uh, 4 1 and 4 0 again 4 1 4 0 means so here the x of n is uh, periodic uh, with uh, the eight samples okay so the first eight samples are that is you see uh, the x of n is having 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 and again four zeros okay then uh, again four ones and four uh, zeros okay so after this is the one uh, this is the period that is a uh, one cycle period n okay n sample after this eight sample again if the same data is repeating means one comma one comma one comma one and four zeros means this x of n sequence is periodic with respect to eight samples okay so then uh, if you want to find the dft of this problem means so instead of calculating the 16 point dft you just calculate uh, the 8 point dft again the next eight uh, eight sample answer is also again and again it will repeat okay so that is said to be the periodicity property so if the sequence x of n is periodic with a, a period of n sample means the endpoint DFT of the sequence is also periodic with the periodicity of that same n samples. Okay, this is the periodicity property. So now we are going to prove this property. So uh, this statement it is uh, mathematically indicated as you see x of n equal to x of n plus capital N. That is uh, first we are defining it that no, that is the sequence x of n is periodic. So x of n is periodic means if x of n value equal to x of n plus n for all value of n, okay, then the corresponding DFT answer capital X of K is also equal to x of K plus capital N. Okay, if the sequence is periodic with the sample, n sample means the corresponding DFT answer is also periodic with n number of sample. Okay, this is said to be the periodicity property. So, uh, this is the periodicity property. Now, we are going to prove this statement. Okay, so this statement we have to prove. So, first one, uh, we are taking as per the definition of DFT. Okay, so the DFT formula you just write. So, you know, uh, the DFT of the sequence X of N, it can be written as capital X of K equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e power minus j 2 pi k n divided by n okay so for uh, the k ranges from 0 to n minus 1 we have to perform the uh, operation so this is the dft formula so now what is our aim means our aim is to prove the capital x of k value equal to the capital x of k plus capital n okay so that's why uh, in the above equation okay in this equation number one so in the place of k you just substitute k plus n okay so that's why we will get uh, the x of k in the place of k we have to put k plus n so the left hand side it converted into capital x of k plus n is equal to summation 
n equal to 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n into e power here 1 k is that. Okay, so you see the k is that. So instead of this k, we have to put k plus n. Okay, so instead of this k, we have to put k plus n. So that's why we will get e power minus j 2 pi k plus capital N, n divided by n. Okay, so next step, we have to split this e power. So summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into if you are splitting this e power. So the first one e power minus j 2 pi k small n divided by capital N. Okay, multiplied with e power minus j 2 pi uh, capital N small n divided by n. Okay, so in this, this capital N, this capital N gets cancelled. So what is the next term? So we will get uh, e power minus j 2 pi n. Okay. And uh, what is e power minus j 2 pi n? The e power minus j 2 pi n, it can be written as uh, cos 2 pi n minus j sin 2 pi n. Okay. That is, you know, e power minus j theta, it can be expanded as cos theta minus j sin theta. And uh, cos 2 pi n, what is the value of cos 2 pi n? The minus 1 to the power 2 n. Okay. So already, you know, uh, that is uh, the cos pi value is minus 1. Cos 2 pi is plus 1. That is cos odd number of pi is plus 1. Cos even number of pi is uh, even number of pi is plus 1. Cos odd number of pi is minus 1. So here the 2 pi. So always uh, for any value of n, this is the even value only. So that's why the cos 2 pi n value is minus 1 to the power 2 n. That is plus 1. Okay sin any pi is you know zero so that's why the value of e power minus j 2 pi n for any value of n is 1 okay so substituting this answer in above equation so we got uh, the capital x of k plus n is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e power minus j 2 pi k n divided by n into the value of uh, uh, this thing is 1 Okay, so now you see this equation. So what is this equation? This equation is exactly uh, equivalent to this x of k. So you see the x of k expression, summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1, x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n. So the same expression we got. So that's why the x of k plus n, the x of k plus n value is always equal to x of k. So what is the meaning? The DFT answer is also repeating after a n sample values okay so if the x of n sequence is periodic means okay if the x of n is periodic with a period of n sample means the endpoint dft sequence is also periodic okay so the endpoint dft also periodic with the periodicity of the same n sample so this property it is called as a periodicity property okay so using this property, so we may solve some of the problem also. Okay, uh, if uh, you see the given sequence, so the given sequence is, uh, you have to identify the given sequence x of n is either periodic or non-periodic. If it is a periodic means, uh, we may use this periodicity property in order to find the DFT value. Okay, so this is the, uh, the first property of this DFT. Okay, and the next property, uh, it is a linearity property. So this is a very simple property. So this linearity property we studied in all transforms. Okay. Uh, if it is a continuous time Fourier transform or discrete time Fourier transform, Laplace, Z, in all transform we studied the property linearity. So it's a very simple property. So what is linearity means? So in order to define this linearity, we have to take uh, the two sequences. Okay. X1 of n and X2 of n. So you know the sequence x1 of n is having the DFT answer is capital X1 of k. The x2 of n signal is having the DFT is capital X2 of k means. Okay, then the linear combination of these two inputs. Okay, the linear combination of x1 of n and x2 of n, it can be written as a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n where a and b is a constant. Okay. So this linear combination of these two inputs, you just consider as a one input x3. Okay. So if you are taking DFT for this linear combination of the two input means, 
the answer is also you see uh, that is the dft of this x3 of n it can be written as capital x3 of k so if you are calculating this x3 of k value means the answer is equivalent to the constant a into the dft of the first sequence capital x1 of k plus the constant b into the dft of the second sequence x2 of k okay so this property we are calling it as a linearity that is the linear combination of input produces the linear combination of output okay the dft the linear combination of input we are applying as a input means uh, the output of the uh, that particular dft is also linear combination so this is said to be the linearity property okay so where this capital x1 of k this x1 of k is nothing but uh, the dft of the first sample okay so here we are considering the first sequence x1 of n is having the length n1 and the second sequence x2 of n it has a length of n2 means okay uh, then uh, the linear combination of these two input uh, uh, x1 of n x2 of n it is a x3 of n so the maximum length of x3 of n it is nothing but a, a maximum of this n1 comma n2 okay n1 comma n2 so then uh, we have to calculate the separate dft so what is the dft of the first sequence x1 of n means it is indicated by capital x1 of k so the x1 of k values so you already know the dft formula summation uh, small n equal to 0 to uh, n1 minus 1 since here the x1 is uh, x1 we are having x1 of n sequence uh, we are considering the length is n1 so n equal to 0 to n1 minus 1 x1 of n e power minus j2 pi k divided by n1 okay similarly the second sequence x2 of n is having the dft answer it can be written as x2 of capital x2 of k equal to summation n equal to 0 to uh, that is uh, n1 minus 1 okay since here we are considering the n1 is greater value okay out of n1 and n2 the n1 is greater value so that's why for these two sequence we have to take n1 point dft okay so the x2 of k it can be written as summation n equal to 0 to n1 minus 1 x2 of n e power minus j2 pi k n divided by n1 okay so uh, it is uh, simply written as you see the dft of the first sequence x1 of n it can be written as capital x1 of k dft of the second sequence x2 of n it can be written as capital x2 of k means then the dft of the linear combination of the two input it gives the result is that linear combination of the dft output that is a into capital x1 of k plus b into capital x2 of k okay so this property it is called as a linearity property okay so in this video we discussed the two properties one is linearity property and another one is a periodicity property okay so in the next video so we will discuss about uh, the circular uh, time shifting property and uh, frequency shifting property time reversal and convolution property in the next videos okay so the properties of dft it's a very uh, important uh, part b okay question so this uh, that is sometime they may ask uh, uh, state and prove any four properties of dft or any five properties of dft okay sometime they mentioned uh, state and prove the following properties okay so periodicity uh, convolution property circular time shift circular frequency shift they will mention okay so you just uh, study the five important properties okay that is periodicity this linearity if you are mentioning means uh, the linearity property is uh, uh, it's not a very important one okay sometimes they ask a uh, 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 state and prove any four property means you may write this linearity property also okay but the important thing is that uh, uh, important properties are the periodicity property uh, circular time shift property uh, then a convolution property frequency shifting property then time reversal and so on okay so in the next video so we will discuss about uh, the next uh, remaining properties okay so thanks for watching my channel and keep watching uh, and uh, share this video to your friends also thank you